This is Heidi Caswell here, WordPress 101 for Boomers. And we're talking about social media in WordPress and how they work together. Uh, actually, when you have a blog that is social media, but you also have all kinds of social media sites that you may belong to, uh, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, um, Google's new um, Plus, all of these, um, there's many, many, many more than that. And um, we're going to go ahead and go to how you can share um, your information on your uh, posts and things. Let people quickly and easily share those using the um, some pretty cool plugins. The plugin I'm using today is Social Sharing Toolkit. Now, if you have the uh, WP Quick Deploy, it's one of the ones listed there. Um, I like this one. Uh, when you go ahead and you go click on the uh, in your settings social sharing toolkit you'll come up with your page where you can edit your settings on this uh, first thing is your general settings um, one thing it, you have you have a do you want to have your buttons on your pages before your content after your content before and after your content not showing up at all uh, show the buttons on your excerpts that's where you have just a shortened page and you click on a button and it says see more and I would really like it on the full pages I'm putting it at the end of the content I feel like if it's at the end of the content and someone's already read the information and looked at it and now they're sharing it you know people can go around and they can help each other out and share a lot of information in each other's pages and things but if you've not really taken the time to look at it uh, to see whether it's something that you feel like, yes, I like this, this will help other people. Um, you know, if you just have it up at the top, people's not really had a chance to look at that post and see whether they like it or not yet. And it's up to you how you do it, but I like to stick mine over at the bottom. Okay, on your posts and pages, these are the links that will show up at the bottom. And you have several that you can choose from. You have a divider that you can put in here, and if you add the divider and check on it, this is unchecked right now, then uh, these will be in one line and the others will below it. Um, you can have your button go vertical if you want instead of horizontal, and then I guess the lines will go between them. Um, you can check which buttons you want to use. On Twitter, it gives them a way to tweet my uh, links to my posts, which is very cool. Uh, and it goes ahead and has at and my name there. This helps me because when I, I check my mentions on Twitter, if someone's sharing my post, that way I know about it. And I can go over and thank them and, uh, you know, carry on a conversation with them over there. Um, you have a button that you can click on and decide whether you want just a button, a button and text, a counter, so you're counting how many likes and things like that that are on there. Um, you can. Uh, Facebook has a send now instead of a uh, share and with the send I don't like it as well it goes as a message as an email to people that you put in there uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and use the Facebook like LinkedIn you can share it on LinkedIn uh, if people have Tumblr they can share it easily on Tumblr right now I'm just using these four I may come back later add some more uh, we'll see how it works but this is where you get to change it Another cool thing is you can change the order of these things. You just slide them up, slide them down, whichever you wait, whichever order you want to use them in. Once you have it set up like you want, be sure to hit the save change button here. Okay, and what will it look like in your post? Right here, you can see the way I have it set up, and here they are showing up just before the uh, comments. And someone can click on them, click on the like. And it's going to like it on uh, Facebook. Uh, click here. And this will, uh, I'm not logged into my Google profile. If I was logged into my Google profile, it would show up that me, Heidi Caswell, liked that uh, post. Click on the Twitter. And it puts it up a tweet. They can edit it. It's got the name of the post, and they can go on, and it's, it's got my name. They go ahead and change it, use it like this, whatever works for them. And then with LinkedIn, you can post it to update on your page, post it to groups, send to individuals. All these are very cool and helpful. Anyway, have fun, and I'll be right back.